And hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Welcome back to Michael Danger Magus's adventure. As you can see, we're in the center of the school right now, heading up to meet a familiar face. In the last episode, we learned Alohomora, the unlocking spell. And we were finally able to gain access to a few of these secret rooms, not only in Hogwarts, but across the world as well. Groundskeeper Moon gave us another goal of finding 13 more of those demiguys statues. They are incredibly difficult to find, but Revelio. I've cast so many Revelios that it might as well have broken the key off at this point. And here we are, 13 in my bag, ready to... Did you just stomp a bug? Moon? Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? Well, it just so has it that I actually have some moons for you right now. I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible, thank you. You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. I am very Thank curious. You once again for your assistance and tenacity. You're very welcome. So from now on, for the now rest... The Whoop, sorry! No Lumos. Is unbreakable. <laughs> from now on, for the rest of the game, we will be able to unlock every single door that gets put in front of our path. That took so crazy long. Oh my god. Along the way, I did end up getting a pretty decent amount of money. And it does seem like there are some more broom upgrades that we can get inside Hogsmeade. So I'm going to dip over there really fast and see what they have in store. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I oh. truly appreciate all of your help. Well, I love special prices. What are we looking for today? How much is this going to cost? An enchantment that increases your broom's acceleration and speed. Well worth a thousand galleons. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Don't I already have all of these? That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, he's reselling the brooms I already have. I mean, I guess that does make sense. He would have more than one in stock. You, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. Thank it you, my dude. It sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Yes, I'll consider it. I'll do it too. I want broom upgrades. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Well, he is really ambitious, we'll actually. That's good to see. Can. And we'll be off to the races. Off to the races, then. This Broom Trail is actually quite a ways south of Hogwarts. I do notice we're going a little bit faster, but it's not like I'm driving a supercar yet or anything. We completed the last race with plenty of time. I'm kind of hoping we complete this one just as easy. Wow, this is such a remote location in the mountains. And this is a student that's going to be handing out Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about this the quest. Wow, there's actually a lot of kids out here. Hufflepuff. If it isn't the fastest Hufflepuff, last time we were here, this girl was so incredibly obnoxious wait a minute what's that right there oh this town is cool they almost have like little hobbit homes they're like halfway imprinted into the ground anyway yo i would retire in a place like this it was a water wheel 
Oh, that's beautiful. I wonder what their upload speed is. Got to make sure I can maintain my YouTube schedule. All right, let's be pleasant. There's no reason not to be. Hello, Imelda. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Why are you so happy and giggly? Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Have you changed your mind about me? Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. She is right. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Yeah, I'm going to give her my best. However, I will let you know that I have spent zero hours practicing and have only been casting Revelio for the last maybe six hours. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. Okay, I'm really bad at this. PC controls are difficult, but here we go. I just have to toggle sprint on and the rest is just hoping for the best. Although that's her ghost there, huh? I'd say that was acceptable. My sprint isn't doing as well. Okay, can we restart? Hold on. Okay, I could do this. We're in sprint. Here we go. Small adjustments. Our key. Ah! Come on, Michael. You could do this. You could do this. That's the sprint I like to see right out of the gate. We're actually kind of moving this time. And through the first hurdle like it's nothing. Now let's line up for this sprint boost. There we go. Moving through. Keep it low. We didn't need all that boost. It's okay, Michael. All right. Okay. Only 17 more of these to go. Why are there so many? We need to rise now. Hit the boosts. Brilliant. We're leaving this ghost behind. Oh my God. The tail is getting so squirrely. Michael. Don't hit the tree! He's not even Wait. sprinting right now because I'm not going straight enough to. <laughs> oh God, this is so difficult. Okay, as you can see, I've never, I did not install the flying mod that was recommended to me, but I do want to check it out soon because it has to be better than this. Actually, I think it'd be so fun to do a comparison on a race with it and without it. But hey, I Excellent. feel like I've hit my groove here. This is mostly leveled out. I think that's where a lot of the confidence is coming from. We are almost, we're over the hump. We're 12 out of 20 and no sign of the ghost behind me, but I'm too afraid to turn around and look. Nice, keep getting those bonuses. We're heading back into the hillside here. This has been a beautiful course. We're on the last four now. I want to check behind me. I don't, I mean, it's not next to me anyway. I don't see it. I think we're okay. Oh God. Okay, two more to go. I'd These are the final two. Cool. And it looks like we're going to be landing right on that mountaintop over there. I just got my boost back. And it looks like we're coming in just over two minutes for the course. Two minutes, two seconds. I've got this. Wait, there's just a penalty for missing rings? Maybe I knew that already. Well, I was confident the whole time. Improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. So, like, she's half right and this course again. half Visit just obnoxious. The board, where you can <laughs> she is right that she needs to go against people that are at the top of their field if she wants to improve. Or at least people that are better at her if she wants to improve. But then every time she loses, she's just so obnoxious about it. It's like, well, you either have a good attitude about this or you don't. You can't have both. Lumos, 
And just like that, mission that accomplished. I want to hear all the particulars. Well, the tail end is still super squirrely anytime we have to turn. Can you do anything about that? Uh, good news! With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. No. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle All wobbles the time. a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. <laughs> if I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. You know, he is right. I feel like that would Thank be again, a, a part of magic that I would be very interested in, is brooms. Well, that quest is done. In between do make a good team. seasons changing, you'll notice it's fall now, we got a ton of missions to meet new teachers and learn new spells. So this seems like a pretty good time to start one of those now. Look at that view, dude. Hey, wait a minute. Are we playing more ball game? What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. Yes! I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. You Summoner's mad? Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? So last time we played this, it was with another student. It was Natsai, I believe. And we clobbered her. It wasn't even close. So this guy seems offended that I was good at the game. And now he wants to prove he's the best. Very well. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. I just sat up in my chair. This is the most important game I've ever played. The ever-changing game. There are more obstacles this time. Looks like he's going to go first. Oh, that was awful. You did terrible. What? Oh, my blue balls again? Of course. Of course. Okay, so we're just using Accio here. Let me line this up nice. And... E Missed the mark a bit on that one. <clears throat> you struck the fuck a little bit after that one. Look, you still only have 20 points. Oh, okay, he has a lot more points now. Try right. to beat that. I got, a, I got a spot right here. I got a spot right here. We are still in the video game. Here we go. And stop it. it. Was just a little stronger than I thought. One for the ages. Yeah, you're one for the ages. Okay. So he has a grand total of 90 points. I have to get another perfect if we are going to stay in this. I'm going to have to move his ball. Here's the problem. If his ball stays in play, I probably lose. Maybe I can just bump it to the side here. Let's try that. Yes! Yes! Michael oh, best at this one. game, Magus! Well done. You beat me. Is there not another round? <laughs> I like how I'm pacing. That's, That's all. Oh, no need to be upset. That wasn't luck. You, I was just gonna start swearing a lot. No need to be upset. <laughs> Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. Oh, why are you so I'll sad? Know you're good enough to keep playing. The others. I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Mmm. Well, you're clearly not cut out for this, and you should find new friends. Obviously, keep practicing. Dude, you can get better. You did fine. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing, and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested, and that you passed. I like this game. I would love to stop in for a match of this game, like every episode, with new students that come up and try to challenge the great Michael Blue Ball Magus. <laughs> <laughs> so, the class I decided to go for today 
was Beasts is what it's called. So I hope we get to meet some fantastic beasts over here. We do have to wait on the floor for a little while, but at least the class isn't going to be in the middle of night. And it looks like that kid we just beat at the blue ball game is over here in our class as well. So we have a friend. Welcome, everyone. Professor Howen. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, Ooh. none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous. Right. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. They're wild animals. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hey, fellow Hello, Huffle. Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Hey, Poppy. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Gerald? Just keep an eye for his tongue. <laughs> I have a, a succulent that I grow in real life that's you named Gerald. Brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches uh, his experience. The beast petting brush is used to nurture magical beasts. Tap T and hover over the beast petting brush. Oh, okay. It's on my spell slot. That seems like such a weird place to find it. Wait, can I... Can I pet wild animals? That's what it looks like. That doesn't look like it's any in a controlled environment. Well, drag to spell slot. Looks like it's going on my bar right there. And here you go, Gerald. I love you too. Actually, he feels much better. That was I nice. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Wait, beast feed? I don't have enough hot bar slots for this. Okay, hold on. I did level up recently. I do have three slots, so I gotta say, it knowing that I cannot fill out the talent tree, getting extra hot bars doesn't feel good. I, if there was a mod that just gave me extra hot bars, I feel like that should be base functionality. And better yet, make it like an MMO where I could just assign keys to all of my spells and I don't have to cycle through different hot bars. Is, is that wishful thinking? Okay, so I have food and brush on my new hot bar. Here you go, Gerald. Wow, look at that what magic do you food. What the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. Love you, Gerald. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. So oh, what house does he belong to? <laughs> now. Let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. Roger and that. please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? Neasles. The Neasles are over here. Ooh, they look a little more dangerous. I'm not going to lie. I, they look like a lynx. Okay. We're good. Oh. Hello. Couple in the easel whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh, stupid thing. Oh. <sighs> I've never wanted to use the death curse more than right now. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Ugh, tus tus peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Yes! Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Persephone! Her name is Persephone! <laughs> oh That's my really god. Funny. Wizard duel right now! Wizard duel! <sighs> Let's go. Let's play a game of blue balls! Come on! Oh, poor thing. You didn't need your whiskers pulled, that piece of shit Slytherin. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. No, they don't. Training. Professor, Seven take points away them. from them and then give more Thank points to Hufflepuff. Let's carry on. Feed and brush. What them. would you like me to do next, Professor? Assist Miss Sweeting at the Nizel enclosure. 
Right. She will need help brushing and feeding them. I'm doing that. You will find it is similar to your work with the puff skin. Yes, I, I assumed, but you don't have any, you're not going to take any disciplinary action? Oh my God, that means I might have to take the law into my own hands. <laughs> I'm going to do this quest. <laughs> so who wants some food? Here you go. If you come over, I'll give you a little brush. Yeah, you can have some food too. Yeah, you can have some food too. Oh, they seem to like the food. That's good. I hope it's nutritious and delicious. I like how nonchalantly the brush is. Yes, put a brush over them. Yes, put a brush over them. Yeah, you want another brush? It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Like you don't know. Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Yeah, it better be about taking points away from Slytherin. Wait, <laughs> hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Hey, Weasley, what's up, bro? Buffskins are fond of bogeys. It's brilliant to catch someone by surprise with one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me, uh, I'll just take care of these guys. You know, that's no harm. They, oh, I could go in here with them. Hey, little guys. Yeah, let's just brush them up. It looks like we brushed the kids for, or fed the kids first. Now the parents are getting taken care of. And here you got a little brush, little brush. <laughs> this is actually so fun. I like this a lot. I'm going to go to every pin and make sure they're all well taken care of. I don't give a shit what this professor's trying to tell me. There you go, guys. Have fun. Make sure your cage is closed. Stay in there. Oh, it's Puffskins. Little Puffskins. Is it only two of you? All right. You get food first. You get brushed first. I just love taking care of animals. They're so kind and so pure. And they love unconditionally sometimes. Hey, Gerald, you still good? You don't... I'm going to give you a little more food. Don't tell the teacher. You were already well fed. But you look like you could use some meat on your bones, Gerald. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, Professor, you wanted to see me? Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? I loved it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Yes. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Right? <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Terrible waste of Surely life. the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Like killing poachers! Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Roger then. Will... Psst. Psst. Over here. Hey, Poppy, what's up? Will wild animals take as kindly to me brushing them? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. Well, that's nice. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. Right. You're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. That sounds... Is it a, is it a magical beast? Where can I find them? You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. You know, I have a Lumos for this very occasion. I can't cast it now. 
I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Wow, what an honor, really? Poppy. Well, thank you, I think. As yeah. I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. I mean, we are Hufflepuffs. And birds of a feather should stick together. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, no. Where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. So, how far away is it? We're nearly there. Okay, fantastic. It's just ahead. Stand back. Okay, right here. I swear to God, if it's a hippogriff, did you just call a hippogriff over? Did you whistle for a hippogriff? <gasps> oh! oh my God, can I bow to it? Please let me bow to it. I want to show it respect. Oh my God. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Yes, High Wing. Hello. Go on. Introduce no, yourself. no, no, no. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy yes. before you approach them. Otherwise, you're going to get bitten. Just give it a little bow, Michael. You could do this. Oh, I just moved my mouse. <clears throat> Hello. But please bow back. Please bow back. I'll continue to bow. Sorry, my bow wasn't good enough. Yes, dude. Well, here you go. Go for a ride, then. <laughs> I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. I'm going to give you food. Russia, if you'd like. We'll give you I a little food, High Wing. Every once in a while. Bring her pasties. Tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't Poppy. know from looking at her. This was such a cool surprise. Busybody. You go, there's a little brush on your back. Don't be. Oh! <laughs> there you go. There you go, High Wing. Who's a good griffin? <laughs> wow, that was awesome. That was so cool. This is my favorite class. So, what did you think of High Wing? Incredible! I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety, and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area. I have, so yeah. So I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. So Professor I should Harold kill all of the poachers. Well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That sounds so suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Poppy? This is at the top of my list. If you learn anything, I want to know. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep High Wing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Man, this was such a cool class. Now, I do need to see... See you later, Poppy! Nice to meet you! I do need to see if I could just brush and feed random creatures out in the wild. So I'm gonna go to the Forbidden Forest. Wait a minute! Is this a poacher camp right here? to put you out of your misery. Can I feed and brush them? <laughs> oh, 100%. These are poacher trackers, aren't they? Well, I don't think it'll hurt anyone if I just take this camp apart really fast. I would don't say that Irondale is not appropriate. Oh, in Oh, is that another one right there? 
Oh no, is this another bandit right here? Dude, Petrificus Totalis is the most busted thing I've ever seen. Hey, the last guy's up on the high ground, I think. I'm trying to get his attention. He doesn't seem to be covered down. If I see him, I'll pull him right off of that. In fact, I might go pay him a little visit up there. I'll even let him see me too. So he knows who he's trifling with when he's messing with the animals. It is Michael! Oh, sir. oh he's dead. I was gonna electrocute him with the with Thor too. One Whoa, okay. In the wizarding world. Ooh, turns out fall damage is pretty good. Kind of ruined my big moment though. So it seems like the enemies that are enemies. I won't be able to feed. It says no beast targeted. Can I just fly there? Oh yeah, that's convenient. This is how the entire game should be. So I'm a little closer. Yeah, it says no beast targeted because it's an enemy. Incendio. So it doesn't seem like I'll be able to feed hostiles. I was gonna go try to make friends with a bunch of big spiders and see what could come from that. Either way, I enjoyed this episode like this crazy. If messages. you're like me, make sure you hit that thumbs up button on your way out i hope we could find even more beasts to interact with i think that would be really great i'm gonna get out of the forbidden forest now take care guys i'll see you again very soon